A Christmas package from S.E. Lock and Key. Thanks, Jason and Kim. I got an email from Kim on the 13th of December telling me that a small package was on the way to me. Seeing the postage on this, I totally understand why Jason does not do too many of these. The package arrived here on the 7th of January. This is my first Locksport video, and as you can probably tell, I'm adding in the audio as I go. As I'm on packaging, you can clearly see from my hands that I am not Eddie Murphy. You'll also notice that I'm a total amateur at unwrapping packages. The tattoo on my hand is from my infantry regiment, the Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry and I served with them from 1983 to 1989, including a four-year tour with NATO in Germany from 1984 to 1988. The wrist bracelet is also done in the colors of the regiment. The ring I'm wearing is the square and compass, and it used to belong to my father. I'm also a Freemason for the last 25 years. Now, unwrapping the new toys. First up is a very nice Ultra Corbin cylinder with two working keys and mounting hardware. I will need to figure out this camera stuff. This video is coming to you from my dining room table and not my workbench in the basement. This one is a vintage Corbin wafer padlock with, I believe, five wafers. It has two working keys. The shackle is slightly bent, but the lock works great. I'm going to try and straighten out the shackle on this uh, beautiful padlock. the lock force dude pin. My first Baldwin mortise cylinder. In fact, my first ever mortise cylinder. This is a master combination lock with working key. When I was unwrapping this part, I was not entirely sure what it was at first, but I figured it out. It goes with the master combination lock, and when both parts are together, it looks like a master lock model 1630. Next up, a nice American 1100. I have one of these already. Not an easy pick.
This Maxpedition bag is quite nice. I'm not quite sure what I'll use it for, but I'll make a good use of it. Last up is an Asa Abloy mortise cylinder with a Sergeant LA keyway. Jason would be hard pressed to find a cylinder with bidding harder than this one. This could be a challenge lock. Here you can see the complete package, everything with working keys and a few more lock sport stickers. I think my first pick will be the Corbin wafer padlock. I think it'll rake, single wafer pick, and possibly shim, but I'll need to straighten out that shackle first. Well, that's it. Again, special thanks to Jason and Kim at SE Lock and Key. Make sure you share and subscribe to Jason's channel, and let's help him reach his goal of 10,000 subs by the end of 2020. To all my fellow veterans, fellow volunteer firefighters, fellow volunteer first responders, and fellow Lock Force friends, Remember to practice your self-care and keep your lockpicking legal.